What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Straight from the gutter network presents Yin and Yang, the podcast, the unfiltered truth for both sex, season two, episode 11. We back with another one. We're going to get Bam up here soon, DJ Thousandia. I go by the name Straight from the gutter. And um, we got another dope show for y'all free Christmas, you know? Um, make sure y'all tap in with us gonna be fun hope everybody is ready for the holidays and got everything they were supposed to get all that good stuff you know but outside of that hope everybody's good hope everybody's ready for the holidays oh man straight from the gutter network sponsored by makeup by sammy renee makeup by underscore sammy renee on ig um, shout out to her. Definitely doing her thing. Um, to see the hat, man. Shout out to Fam Life. Make sure y'all free Nicole, man. Free Cripple 3030. They ain't do it, man. They ain't do it. Freedom. But, listen, y'all. We here. We got a lot to talk about. It's, it's a lot going on. As y'all all know. I'm just waiting for my co-host to come up here and we can get we can get started with, with the festivities for the evening. Um they go bam, let's bring bam up here, see how her week has been. Before we get before we get things jumping, man. Let's send a couple of invites. Shout out to everybody that came on already. Shout out to Fun Size, OB Slim, Big Lash, Tawan. Shout out to y'all for logging in. Nice and nerdy. Appreciate y'all. Hello, hello. They go bam. I mean, all I see is black, but. I'm, I'm going to put my camera on with you. I'm just inviting people. Yeah, let's, let's, see, let's get the people up here, man. My Last bad. Before Christmas. I like Batman. Tawan. Excuse me. <laughs> My bad, I got the Batman going on. You got the, you got the, yo, Remy, Remy just dropped, dropped a song with Kanye Diamonds. And she was like, her voice, her voice, her voice deep, her throat deep. I was like, oh, shit, I've been missing out this whole time. Cause that's been like one of my little petty things where if a chick sounded like Batman when she woke up, I couldn't do it. Why? I don't know. But according to Remy, I've been missing out. Go figure. First of all, when we moan, we don't sound like this. See, I wouldn't know because I never gave him a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna like this? Listen, man. Yo, why? Why? Why am I like? You know what's crazy though? I do have a serious. I do have a serious question though for y'all. Oh lord. We get the show going. So, this is a safe place, y'all. <laughs> So I, I don't. I don't. I don't expect <laughs> to be judged. <laughs> no, there's judgment. Um, wait, none but judgment. Shout out. Allegedly. Shout out to Harry. We got a Scorpio. Wait, wait. They should know this. Hat. We got. We got a Scorpio, a Gemini, and a Taurus. Are you serious? This is a safe place. <laughs> this is definitely a safe place. Yeah. Okay. Listen, man. This is a safe place. So I want to. No, oh, y'all didn't even see. Look at y'all see the color. It's no more red. What happened to the red? Said last, last week. It's no more red. Oh, I don't know. I forgot. See, look at see. I told I'll be tired. Crack see how black, I sound right now? No, my bronchitis is like. They said my bronchitis. Yo, this <laughs> nigga said my bronchitis. Like niggas is born with that shit. No more bronchitis. Nah, man. Up, man. I was on a pump too when I was younger. Not on the social machine when I was younger and everything. So. Nah, my son was. With RSV, so I know. All so I got a heating pad. Look, no my heating pad. Um, yeah. <laughs> so listen, I got a question for y'all. Serious question: <laughs> Is having a lazy eye hereditary? Yes. Yes. You know how I know? How? I have one. I have two. So, bo- so who you got it from? My mother. Hmm. Do they go? First of all, y'all, y'all, y'all never go away. Time out. Don't act like you never noticed it on the show. <laughs> but but I, they, I didn't know it was hereditary. But I think do it, they it, go I, in I, opposite directions. 
it goes like because the lazy for those who don't know what the lazy eye is is when the muscles are weak in the eyes so when it goes because it was growing up uh, people used to get it confused and he's been like oh you're cockeyed or you're cross-eyed no there's a difference when you're cross-eyed the eyes cross they cross and whatever when they're uh, when you cock it's like one be it's like they both at the same time one be in one be out blah 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 but when you have a lazy eye it's the muscle so when it comes to me the muscle and mine both of them not at the same time though of course um either this eye will wander that means the muscle on this side on the left is pulling more on this side or if i'm focusing and one is straight the other one on the muscle the other one could go that way too so my mom went and got surgery for hers but after a while she because she constantly keep moving her eyes like struck like forcing you gotta sometimes you gotta get kind of retweet so if so if the nigga got a curve to the left right Lord. And, and he's killing your shit toward the left and you're f now f focusing on that side does the one just stay there like the duration no. of the trusting or no. you know, you're able to focus back because i want to know like for example I can know, right? you know what it is people like it, it's it's bad because saucy i do the saucy all the time like a lot of people think, think at first i do it on purpose like i could focus like i could talk and everything is nothing oh maybe my glasses i'm technically supposed to wear contacts because the contacts will help me focus and will make me make my muscles stronger but since i wear the glasses it's like i got lazy over the years like to not focus on concentrating and stronger in the muscle and then i'm 38 and they told me that if i would get the surgery it's gonna it's not gonna help anything so it's like it so if i get no sense. So if I get with a chick with a lazy eye, okay. and she's la okay. lazy on top of that, right? So now the eyes oh, are everywhere because she's not it's focused at all. two different things. So now it's the work husband. Two different things, gotta. It's two now, different things. And I have a kid. It's two different things. With her. So let's say I have a kid with her, right? Mm -hmm. So now, what's the probability of my kid having a lazy eye? Like, is it high? Uh, um, I don't really think it's high because not all my sisters have it. So far, only I have it. Um, and, and my middle sister has it slightly, but my youngest sister, she don't have it at all. And as far as what I know, I have an aunt that has it slightly, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to this next topic. I, <laughs> I was I was just wondering because this chick, like, chick is a baddie, but the eyes would just be everywhere. So I'll be trying to... What do you think I go through? So I'll be like... <laughs> so I thought it was cataracts. At first, I started just no, clapping I a No, I, I, I go through it. it. Work. I go through it. No, I go through it myself. Like, I have a lazy eye. And people be like... The first thing people say to me, Oh, that's why you can't see straight. Or that's why niggas ain't gonna want you. That's why you don't ever see where you're coming from, bam. You always on some other shit. First of all, you don't need... I don't need to look at you if you're doing back shots. You're right. I don't need so to look, look at you to so see. That, I don't need to look. I don't. I don't need my eyes open to suck dick. I don't. <laughs> but the like, eye contact but, makes it so much better. But, but, but we focus. But the thing is, it's so impersonal when you don't look. When you don't look at us in the eye. You now, I don't know which eye we're looking at, but <laughs> we it's, it's impersonal. Nah, but you'd be surprised. Some people. Some like it doesn't matter to people because sometimes it happens while don't I know a lot of people who got weak muscles, lazy eyes, can't see. And I'm more messed up. I have a lazy eye, I wear glasses, I have lazy eyes, wear glasses, and astigmatism. So I'm more fucked. <laughs> Yo, your glasses are mad expensive. No, they're you know not. How many add ons you got to do to your shit? I'm just. <laughs> not. They actually not. They <laughs> gotta do the. They gotta do the thin lens, the astigmatism lens. They gotta do the. No, I don't even. I don't even get the. Technically, I'm supposed to be wearing contacts. My contacts are supposed to be good for my stigmatism, but I don't do the. I only wear the contacts but if I'm like or some, some shit. I like my glasses better. All right, well, listen, man. Happy holidays to everybody. You ever just wake up um, in the morning and realize the lyrics of "Slop on My Knob" edition. perfectly over "Carol of the Bells"? What? Who knew? <laughs> Lay on the bed and give me head Don't have to ask, don't have to beg 
You're right, and I still can't see so <laughs> You ever just wake yeah. up in the morning? Yeah, she killed that shit. <laughs> she killed that shit. She killed that shit. She know the vibes. She know what's up. We're about to be some soul see up. She know the vibes. Um, so now we're about Dear to get... Dear OB, I know you no. fucking lying. This is OB. It's only OB. I swear. <laughs> This so motherfucker. We gonna get we gonna get into the first topic. That's what we brought Saucy up right now. So oh, man Lord. says that fathers who pay child support do not have to do anything extra for Christmas because it is included in their payments. And if the mom can't get things done with that, she is mismanaging the funds. Now let's take a let's take a little listen. That is your Christmas. Oh my god. If you are a man that's on child support and you struggling, do not go all out your way mm -hmm. to try to give your child everything he wants. You have a life to live too. See, when they took you to that courthouse, they put your income next to her income. And they took what they saw fit out of your income to fulfill your child's needs. Mm -hmm. And as long as your child's needs are met, it's no way in hell you are deadbeat. So don't, not, don't let Nobody try to say wait, otherwise. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So, man says that father who pays child support do not have to do anything extra for Christmas because it is included in their payments. And if the mom can't get things done with that, she is mismanaging the funds. Now, Saucy works for child support, so we have a little um, professional insight on this. Saucy. Speak to the people on, the, on this case and, and this gentleman here um, indicating that, you know, men that pay child support do not have to do anything extra for Christmas. What are your thoughts? Well, technically, when you're doing the breakdown for child support services, um, the basic needs of the child is met. Um, let's all generally understand Christmas, um, birthdays, New Year's are... Uh, 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 it's the echo in the government. The government. So, oh, so holidays, holidays and everything is the luxury. The luxury. Um, um, as far as the breakdown for child support, support it's, it's the need: the need. Food, food, clothes, clothes education, education, and and maybe gas. Maybe gas. Gas could be included gas. into it. Into it. Um, um. Yes, it is. 70% yes, of, of, of his or her income once child, child support is being established. 17%. 17, 17, 17, 17, 17 for, right. If you have a second child with the same person, it's 25. Um, And then it go up. If you got three kids, you know, it goes up to 50 what, what, what if you got 12 kids? It's broke down, it's broke down 12 different ways. ways. With the caring the of the child, of the child, it could be broke down. Not that way, that way, but the percentage is just lower because you got 12 kids with this one. one, one. First, of all, First of all, you know how much money you gotta make. So what if I work at McDonald's? Okay. Shout out, shout out to Governor Hoshu who just raised the um minimum wage or whatever. But let's just say I work at Mickey D's. My minimum wage is now sixteen dollars starting January first, right? And I got 12 kids. <laughs> what? What? Again, thirty cents each. It's Remember, welfare comes, I mean, child support comes off of the gross income, not the net. So, before you can even go home, whatever you see is your net. Whatever is your gross is what we take it first. So, if you, you, sat there, you ain't getting no money back. If you sat there and did <laughs> overtime, <laughs> you getting like 16 that, cents back. Nah, it, hold on, Saucy. It can hold be on. happen like that. It hold on, Saucy. Like OB. One of, one of our truth tellers will be indicated lol 12 kids ain't nobody busting it wide open like that no more That's yes they Nick are Cannon did. yes they Nick are Nick Cannon did it with 12 different people and he rich nah but no this female Kiki Kiki why yo I think I think Kiki, I think Kiki and Nick I think Kiki and Nick are single handedly just trying to keep the population afloat in future they have mad kids. Actually, you know what's crazy? Just slow down. Nick no, but Kiki, Kiki, Kiki said, Wyatt just had a. Uh, what kid is this? I ain't gonna hold you. Kiki Wyatt got the wagon. I'll hit. 
I don't care what you're talking no, about. She got- because that girl got some type of voodoo every time she has sex with somebody they marry her they marry her and give her a couple babies they might not last long but they they marry her they marry her they make i'm trying i'm trying to see what that be like nah you don't want to see what's like yes i do take care of them kids mind your business yes you gotta help no but see every man that marries her gotta help take care of them kids too daddy of the year you gonna take care of all, all twelve of them? Nigga, did I stutter? I don't, I don't have a, Nigga. I don't have a lazy mouth. Pause. <laughs> so back to the question. The people who stutter mouth ain't lazy either. Back to the question. That, that, that. Um, people don't even realize it's a luxury. Yeah, holidays, holidays birthdays, birthdays, and stuff are a luxury. Um, it's not included it's not in, in, in child support child services. services. I have and another. I have another child support child. question. Mm-hmm. So, Christmas, birthdays, whatever is all a luxury, according mm-hmm. legally, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what about extracurricular activities like basketball, karate, boxing, swimming, stuff like that? Yeah, she can add, she can add that because that's because like, like education like education. Well. That goes into that the goes education, into education aspect of it. Aspect anything, of it. Anything, anything that like karate, like karate that's, that's something that he could be famous be with, famous or with or anything or with. Anything yeah, with. yeah, that's totally. That's can be added, but it has to be added when you do it. Or she could go for a cola. A cola you could get every two years. It's called a cola because it's a, 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 a adjustment. So you get the cost of living adjustment for mm-hmm. child support. Uh huh. So if I get a twenty-five cent raise, she got a twenty-five cent raise. No, she has the net twenty-five is thirty. Is a thir- because every two years it's thirty percent, and it. Just give a little bonus. That's yeah. crazy. So somebody um one of the two started indicated one has nothing to do with the other. I have no idea what you're talking about. Put it in the comments what has nothing to do with the other. And um men need a deal. What is the topic? This is Ms. Rhonda our shot shot town truth teller. So the topic is man says that fathers who pay child support do not have to do anything extra for Christmas because it is included in their payments. And if the mom can't get things done with that she is mismanaging the funds and it, it was just proven that it's two separate things that what that is a, that is a separate thing that it's a luxury oh okay. I, I, yeah. but it's, it's a, a lot of people that don't celebrate birthdays christmas and, like if you think about it um so if i'm broke and you be like you don't celebrate no. anymore no, it's religious that Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses, uh, Muslim, Muslim people, people don't celebrate birthday. birthday. They sell something they sell similar, similar, but it's not, not the same. And it doesn't even deal with, with giving gifts. gifts. You actually got to be in church on these holidays. Like if you're from, if you It's not a church, it's the hall. Yeah, the hall. Yeah, the hall. So it's, it's a luxury. That's why wealthy don't give people extra money on Christmas. Wait, so people on welfare don't get a Christmas bonus? No. Damn, that sucks. So, that's Mr. One indicated. So, yeah, what if all she's yeah, getting yeah. is a hundred dollars a month in child support? That's her problem. That's, that means I only make enough for you to get a hundred dollars. Absolutely, a hundred dollars a month, or it depends on how it's going. Because you know, you can have uh, you. welfare child support, and you can have a regular child support, and then you have to go back for modification. If that, if you get a hundred dollars, and he asks me to make more than that, you go for my Application, you have to prove that he's making that he makes more than that. More than that. And then, it, then you got situations where, um, people got the retro, bro. like you said, the, the, the retro. You got some people when they take out more. If you feel like you can't, your cost of living is if the child support is too much, you can get your payments met, get their payments adjusted. Like if they're not able to pay their rent and certain things too, and they can retro, get that too. And the retro is before her. Because remember, mm-hmm. it takes more up to a a year to three years to actually get the man on child support. So the time that they are caught in doing the stuff that they gotta do, 
that's why the that's retro why the acid, acid will be added yes. into yes. the case. So you have a you retro have acid, acid that probably could last up to, depending on how, how much it is. It could be a year that you have to be paying that retro before your actual child support after Or three years, this however long the case started. So while you're in court, she's not getting child support. So if he choose not to give her anything for the baby, it'd be retroactive in the child support. So now his payment payment is actually actually longer, longer, bigger. bigger. And it's so crazy because it has to be a bracket, it's a bracket bracket hold. After 1500, you already in debt. They they take in, they would do penalties. penalties. Once you you have a bill over 1500, you can get your license license revoked. All types of rights, all types of New York City licenses. So not just your mm-hmm. driving license. Go to jail. Have, oh, you don't have to go to jail. Not in New York City. It's not oh. required. And oh, NY, okay. They don't do that no more. Like they don't take them. They never they put never anybody in jail in NYC, NYC for the simple fact is one. I grow. I I just are too populated. New York City mm-hmm. does not hold a lot of um reinsurance programs because you're supposed to really be like six. Um, six months in jail, and then you have to go to a program like a furlongs program. You know, like a halfway house. You do not hold that many halfway houses in, so that way you can work and we can start taking the money from you. Now, what's the county? I have, I have, I have advice mm-hmm. for everybody out there that don't want to be what's a child support. Have diet sex. How about that? How about what don't bust diet nobody? Sex? Condom sex. With a condom. Girl, sex with um, a condom. Girl, That's diet sex. Because girls get pregnant off a of pre-con. <laughs> Listen, don't put the tip in. Don't, don't do nothing. Oh, that's where dwarfs come from. Hold on, wait, motherfuckers is still doing that pull out shit. You know what? Y'all too old for this shit. Listen, so <laughs> we gonna get, we, we gonna get to the next topic. Well, I'm gonna play a short video for y'all and then we gonna take it from you. You believe in like masturbating while you in the house with your girl? Yeah. That's yeah. disrespectful as fuck. No, it's not. Why are you jacking your dick off while I'm in here? Oh, I love uh, do it. Because I'm here, I have a pussy in the mouth. Like, what are you doing? But you know how much you know calories my boo, You know is? my boo told me that he masturbate while I'm in the house? Yes, I'm totally high from y'all and do that. I just asked him, like, uh, He says sometimes we hire from y'all and do that. So, I have a question for y'all. Do y'all find it disrespectful for your significant other to play with themselves while you're in the house. No. no. Damn. He's a guy. Damn you're, not supposed to, you're not supposed to say nothing uh, a thousand there. Why? Why he can't what say you none? About no. Well, it is no for both for me and um Gribby. I don't have no problem. No problem. I First of all, I don't want to see you do it. What the fuck? Your- <laughs> but I want to see it. Dependent. Like, I mean, not all the time. Like, if you want to have your own private, personal moment, there's nothing wrong with that. You have your personal moment, but I don't care. So why do you need, have why fun. do you need, okay, why do you need time? Why do you need personal time with your dick when your girl's right there? Sometimes you I'm don't confused. want to. The mouth. Sometimes you just want to just enjoy yourself. So you're trying to tell me there's men. Speaking for myself, sometimes, speaking for myself, sometimes I might not want his lips on me. I but might that's you, want a though. quick buzz, buzz and call it a day. Quick okay. zap, boom, bop, and that's it. Okay, so you're it saying t- that. It takes longer sometimes. I mean, sometimes, you know, we, I want to have, I, like, I want, like, like, a, like a microwave. Hurry up and get it done. Pop, pop, zip, zip. On, on the buzzer and call the day. So you, you know the buzzer with the, the damn basketball. Oof, that's it. I'm good. <laughs> Beat the buzzer. <laughs> Twenty three seconds. <laughs> so why don't why don't you just teach your significant other how to get no, that because, out at the same because time? Because when we want no when when when, when we I know I know speaking for myself and when when it comes to oral pleasurements that we want from like when we doing it. It's like a, it's whole, like a whole, it's a lot of energy, lot of energy. because we're going to probably, probably rub your head, we're probably, probably grinding, we're probably, probably talking shit. shit, it's a lot of emotion, a lot of, you know, built up aggression and everything else because it's another body that's touching. Sometimes you just don't want to be, t- like, sometimes you just don't want that, that moment or what I get into all that energy, so you just do it yourself. Y'all know how to, 
know how to, first of all, like, I believe, like, the, the like, y'all know how to, that two-hand moment when y'all rub the top of your head and everything else to get y'all off, and that's it. You might not want, might not want my mouth or my poochie at the moment. You might just want to uh, hurry up. Ah, that's it. And it's going to take long. Yep. Sometimes it's just one McDonald's. Wait. 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 It is a lot of work when it comes to having Wait. Yes, it's a lot of energy. The goals that have me knocked out in no time. Having sex with you, I'm probably going to do it four or five sometimes because a lot of guys will be doing it, putting it in the right spot, and then next thing you know, who wants that sucker start feeling good, hate yourself, you know, fuck it, switch it up. Yo. Now you want to get your goals. Some women really need to smell their rose toy before they ask for certain shit, though. I'm just saying. I don't even have one. I I'm sorry. I play with my voice, so I don't need. I don't. I don't. Listen. I don't have one of those. It, it looks. Not it, the it gets to a point. It gets to a point where you y'all really need to smell certain things and, and be, be and, and lower your voice. You know, lower your voices, man. And like that's what you said. Sometimes but if that's the McDonald's. case, some of y'all need to smell your hands after when y'all playing with your balls too. I, I, I agree, one thousand percent. I, it goes. Listen, it goes both ways. <laughs> you gotta. You if you're gotta, gonna, if you're gonna talk about smelling rose toy, I need to smell your hands because, uh, man, listen. Listen. Some of y'all out. Fellas, some of y'all be out for, here for with the hoodie and the sweat. I'm just saying. In case y'all don't know, fellas, chicks smell their hands no. too. Okay. Yes, we the do. same way y'all think I do your little test or whatever. Chicks do the same shit. Hell yeah. So, listen. First of all, when we when we try to like we be playing to with wives. y'all, going whatever, we smell. We we can smell it. I want to give a major shout out to Dude Wipes, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, major shout out to Dude Wipes. Hit us up if y'all want to do a sponsorship. We're straight from the gutter net. We're Yin Yang Podcast. Um, I carry y'all religiously, <laughs> so because you never know when I'm hearing somebody want to do a little something. I'm saying you gotta. I mean, Dude Wipes. Shout out to Dude Wipes. It's, it's um, down in his face. Listen, so I'm. That, I'm uh, just a flabbergasted yeah. because the by simple what? fact of huh? huh? You flabbergasted by what, sir? I, I'm not understanding why people are not washing themselves before entertaining another person. Y'all just jumping into things like funky and all that. I don't. I don't get it. Little kids, little kids. This generation is dirty. That? You didn't realize that you they don't, don't even wipe that? the back of their neck. You don't realize. That? They look it, look it, look it, in the in, in the words in the words of Music Mac Maestro, niggas be out here smelling like earrings, the the race of earring back. Yeah, the, the earring backs. Mm. I met a guy who is real dirty. We went out to eat and he was sitting at the diner. You know how like you sit at the. Saucy, saucy. I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. I'm gonna need you to stop using your porn voice and project the way you normally do. What? I ain't even using my porn voice. That's yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not. Now, it's, it's not the like this. It's going to be my own porn voice. This. Not- what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, I'm so, I'm so just mad sore. If I was being porn, I'm mad loud right now. Like, no, no. Okay, Pinky. I am short like Pinky, though. Damn. What a big Project. <laughs> But okay, I think what she's trying to say is there's a video. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna send you the video. There's a lady in a club. I want to see this video. And, and she's. It looked like she's sitting on a man's lap, but you can tell that she's adjusting her draw to do to do on this man's lap. But oh, I've seen that. Acting like she's dancing, but he's really. Yeah, but he looked like TD Jakes. I'm mad you said that. Yo, I'm, so. I'm mad. I don't know. They're First of all, that, I actually, him. I actually took my time and I listened to one song of that sacred love song, um, album that he got, and I feel, I feel disrespected. Why? Because he's a power bottom. <laughs> no, it's not power bottom. It's just that like, why you sound like you about to start moaning and groaning about sacred love songs. It's supposed to be about the church. He was. So what? Like that's. Like just is, uh, talking about he's like and and that's a wonderful lover and this and this and that he what did the, you know what 
Daddy, listen, listen to the Sacred Songs album? No. no. <laughs> nah, man. At all. No. no. <laughs> I actually mm-hmm. took my time and listened to one song. I'm good. <laughs> we know what the church is about, so let's be realistic. Yo, shout out to No, I'm love. talking about with him. Like, it was just like, like, what, what was just, what was the purpose of this? I don't think we want to know. Speaking, he's speaking out just like the rest of them do. He, wait, he know he's not speaking out. He a power bottom. How he speaking out? Because a lot of them are power bottoms. <sighs> That's sad, man. People like TDJ. That's not like going back there. Need to stop going with this allegation. Everything just be running on social media. We don't know people personally. We're like the like speak for yourself. Tell. I don't know no TDJ. I know that he preach and he sound good when he preach it. You, you are saucy. You are correct, you, you saucy. Saucy, you're correct. But we are. We all know that the church has been under fire for how many allegations of sexual assault? Get them white. Church is in the black community. Mm mm. Everywhere. It's okay. Everywhere. But we need to stop. Honestly, generating these allegations. Because, because I don't want to feed into something that could be lie and trying to destroy <laughs> people. This is not cool. Not cool. Listen, this, there's, there's, there's starting where, where there's, where there's smoke, there's fire. Of course, but sometimes um, it's not. coming off is that? And yes. g- damn, <laughs> wait, wait. This is not even. This is not even the first set of allegations. Um, and I'm going back to the late '90s. I interned at Bad Boy. Um, I personally saw a lot of things going on that I will never speak on ever. You have an NDA. Um, oh, absolutely. Um, TD Jakes um used to go go to a lot of different events. Um. And that's that's not saying that just because you go to events that these things happen, right? But it's like when there's a series of things, um, you know, here at, at the Yin Yang Podcast, we don't we don't like to um fuel lies or things like that, but we all of us individually um know a lot of things and there's a lot of a lot of different allegations that we can give some insight on um so with that being said i, I definitely you know definitely shout out to tdj's definitely shout out to puff shout out to bad boy um and whoever whoever um is hurt by the, these situations um we we feel for y'all um y'all should definitely speak up Yes, you should definitely, you know, get whatever it is that you're supposed to get legally. Um, because a lot of things people they they willingly went into it, but then when they saw that there was that they can get money behind it, then that's when the lawsuits start. But a lot of these things, a lot of these people were willing participants in a lot of ish. Just put just putting that out there. Um, in fact, because I used to work for Diddy House and I also was an assistant for John B. So I've seen a lot of shit. I ain't gonna sit there and say, that's what I'm saying. Some of the allegations of how his attitude is and stuff like that, it's kind of mm-hmm. true. Diddy is a snob, but that's a different type of snob. And plus, he's a leaper. So you gotta, I mean, you gotta understand his top. But. I don't, I don't believe, believe that he was doing little boy. That's just my That's personal my thing. I just seen a I lot in the music industry back, back in the day in the nineties. What are you talking about, Puff? Puff definitely I'm, not fucking little boys. Absolutely not, not. But that's the story they got. And then on top of it, I don't. I think he's a great manipulator. Manipulator. He's a Absolutely. manipulator, a big mm-hmm. loser. I just seen him do things and say things. He, he got to get the gap to get the person to do what they need to do. Facts. Right? I'm going to tell you just like that. Just point, point blank. Period. I've been in the industry since I was 14 years old. That's 
what I'm going to say. That's how I'm going to say. That's how I'm going to say. Yep. Well, well, I was 13 when I first started, so that's... Oh, they go back. Hold on. I had to do back, man. So, for those who got ass whoopings as a kid, do you feel it traumatized you? My bad, y'all. Were you beat unnecessarily? And looking back, do you think other methods of correction would have worked on you? Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't well, was beat. Me. I was, I was, I, I, I was, I was abused. abused. So, I got broken, I got broken my own black, black eyes. eyes. Broken, broken, yeah, I said broken, broken, broken black eyes. eyes. Um, um, talked really That's hard not a whooping, though. What are you? No, it's not a whooping. What is the topic? I was in... I was All right, I'm going to read it again. Hold on. I'm hold on, Sosie. Hold on. The topic is, for those who got whoopings as a kid, do you feel it traumatized you? Were you beat unnecessarily? And looking back, do you think other methods of correction would have worked on you? And Sosi was um, speaking on her child abuse, because that ain't no damn whoopings. No, there wasn't, and I got taken away. I was in the system. Now, from my mother, when she was beating me, I never got beat by my mom. I probably got beat twice, and I think it was necessary. It taught me discipline. It taught me how to respect people. I don't think it's don't necessary, think it's necessary but needed for this, but needed this generation because they ain't they afraid ain't of nothing. Enough. I was afraid I was of adults. Afraid of adults. Uh, I had morally ground ground skin. Anybody had the opportunity to do whatever you want to do if you disrespected a adult. The community was yeah, way man. more together. So you asking the roof group and I don't, so, so I, if you got a whooping as a child, do you feel it traumatized you? Will you be unnecessarily? And looking back, do you think other methods of correction would have worked on you? Well, I'm going to therapy, so that should answer the question. <laughs> traumatized? I'm in therapy. Okay. I am in therapy as we speak because it's a lot. Um, it's a lot of un like trauma and unpacking. Um, it, it was it is it unnecessary i believe that um the aspects that i got i would say that, that according were very very unnecessary um especially when again it was uncalled for um but it is traumatizing because it kind of makes you Look at things and be a little and be and look at things very, very differently, very differently and stuff and like stuff that. that. And, and as an adult, adult it kind of like what is that word, is that word exactly? exactly. Um, um, I would I don't say put you on a pause. So what band, you're like what more, you're more cautious. You're look, y'all got more cautious. You don't want to make certain things and become a trigger. So you try not to do certain things or certain things that you do as an adult. Like certain things you see as an adult or you see kids do or certain things will come as a trigger. So that because you so traumatized from what you've been through or somebody can say something, somebody can do something or it, it will bring you back, back to that moment and you will actually put yourself into that ball or put yourself into that whatever. So... It's a lot. It's a lot. So, so I'm just gonna, gonna put it like that. Doesn't like <laughs> What about you, sir? What are your thoughts? Um, for myself, for myself no. no. Um, I had my ass whooping for necessary reasons. I wasn't. I wasn't beat. Uh, I got my ass beat down. Um, I had. Uh, uh, outside, outside people, people that I had that issues, issues with, with that, that things happen. happen. So, so those, those if, if you want to categorize, that, categorize that, that as something, something separate, separate yes. yes. But, but from my from family my members or my mother or my father or anything to that nature, no. Okay. The, the weapons that I did get, I felt, I felt like every single one was warranted. Um, I was, I wasn't abused at all. Um, I actually have a great relationship with my parents even to this day um, but what I did get it was definitely warranted um, when it comes to my own son though and this new 
this new generation and everything is mental health this and abuse mm-hmm. that and I do a lot more talking with him mm-hmm. but he's also an intellectual so it's like me telling him I'm disappointed in him actually breaks him down more than me putting my hands on him like he literally he just looked and he just like damn like my bad you know what i mean he gives um, that on top of having a good kid huh he gives that, he gives that. Like, like just like when like, like, like the, how you, how talk, you about talk about him, him. and like and you know, know like when he do when you do see him and when you do post him he gives, he gives that, that you know what, what like if you was like to you was tell him son, son you you you, you, messed up, you messed up he'll he, he would he take that to heart yeah yeah he's that he's definitely one of them kids like he's just not um, he's just not about that life at all. I'm a mother. <laughs> Put my hands on him, he he gonna run away. Like he's not, he's not I'm one of them kids. I'm a mother, and I have to confess, I whoop my kids butt, kids butt. Not, not, beat not beat them, beat down, them down, but I whoop their butt. Their when butt. They when they came to school, school they would they tell you, me. my mom didn't play that. I let I let them let them know let them that know. school was their job, and me to work. Mom, they had to do their job. So I have so three kids, have three plus, kids plus, plus my, what, my, 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 my baby, baby 17. 17, I will bust his butt, I'm sorry, because he would not he be one of these kids out here being disrespectful, disrespectful and have no man. No so far it works, so far because it works. all my kids all got, got the very respectful, talk very well, but now it's but that, the oldest the one, she's a little tricky, because you mess with her the wrong way. Leave my D alone. She would turn it to so real quick. <laughs> but all my kids are all very kids respectful. Are very you respectful. met them, you met them, they they, 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 they were bad kids. They were bad at all. At all. Wait, and, and one, one thing, thing I would, I would like, like to say too, even though it's kind of off the topic from when I came in, when y'all was talking about Puffy, Puffy being something, something, I think he said sneaky or whatever, whatever like, like that. that. Of course, or like, like manipulative, because he's a damn Scorpio. <laughs> I just wanted to say that because y'all Scorpios are, are very manipulative. We're not. But allegedly, back to the back of the schedule program. Allegedly, allegedly, we're free. Allegedly, obsessive, jealous. Allegedly, no, no, that's true. That's not allegedly. Jealous, that's not. That's not allegedly. Obsessed. So, woman says that her husband liking another woman's photo on Instagram is a public embarrassment. Do y'all agree or is she reaching? She reaching. She reaching. I mean, no, 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 no. Let me not say that. It's not reaching. Depends on. It depends on your relationship. I definitely. I definitely the relationship. Like if she from a female. To have insecurities insecurity. that doesn't that have doesn't nothing have to do with this man. She could probably trust him, him a whole lot, but because she doesn't trust men and her health, 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 or she probably she wants to do this, she look at it. I mean, it's a lot it's of people, women, women on, on media. So, so I can find a woman, woman beautiful, why can't he? I don't do that. But my question, now, my now, question now, to you, though, fellas. Go ahead. We say that, okay. It's always, it's always a situation where the woman feels some type of way about the, the man liking the woman pictures. How would y'all feel some type of way if y'all significant others was on another man's page that has no shirt, looks nothing like you, he's buff, muscular, all you greased up and shit, and she's on his page or other pages, pages liking stuff. How would y'all feel? Do y'all feel the same way? Would y'all feel the same way about it? Here's the thing. To me, social media is for entertainment. Right. Um, Right. For the most part. I mean, for me, it's a business. But for Mm -hmm. a lot of people, it's it's entertainment. And them liking a picture, them liking 10 pictures, whatever, is social media. Now, well, you when you start throwing said whatever, out, so this man is on his page hold on, let me doing jumping jacks, dick bouncing. I'm, I'm, right? I'm not done. I'm not done. Uh, if you if you now sending out them little gifts that you can do um, with the googly eyes, with the tongue out, you drooling. Now you're doing the fucking most. If you like the pictures and I see your name on the pictures, whatever. 
like what the fuck you like, whatever. You do the googly eyes and the tongue out and all that extra shit, bitch, you single. You two outside for me. Fuck it. Mm-mm. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> but it's a, but but it's okay for the guys to do it. But the hard eyes, yeah. Yeah. Here, girl, that ass. No, like that's definitely you. no. I don't. I don't think that's okay oh, either. Okay. I never okay. said that. Any, no, I'm just anything. Asking. Listen. Anything. Anything that brings an embarrassment that you you are showing the world that you really don't give a fuck about your partner. And you're gonna put put it out there with the tongue out, with the with the googly eyes, with the and you just you just reckless with it. That shit is disrespectful. Well, it's disrespectful. Like following people, and if you put it out there with the tongue, no, out, he asked no, but if you I'm on there, so she's talking about damn baby, I licked you. I was I was I was, I was, I was that, that's what I'm saying. Y'all like, can't talk. Y'all can't talk at the that's, same time. No, you can't sorry. You can't do that. Like that's can't do what? If you sitting up there. Giving her eyes or whatever, that's really that's nothing. You just kind of lust and all the person. But, but if you if start you talking about hey baby, baby and all that, that was like, you're, you're attempting your, your shot. shot. That's disrespectful. So what's your argument? Because that's exactly what I just said. Oh, I thought you said what sort of googly eyes don't mean that you're attempting to shoot a shot. If you do the googly eyes, you're looking for a DM. Are you serious? Because I did I'm that to serious. my cousin. I did that to my cousin. Man, picture. He. It was. It was a quote. It was a quote. <laughs> that I love. And I heard I did. She That's like, different. That's a different. Wait. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. He's talking about the man. If, so hold on, he's talking hold about on, the picture. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If anybody puts up lyrics to a song, or they put up a quote, or they put up a picture of freaking Kobe or whatever, anything that's not them, and you do the googly eyes, that's not towards them. That's towards the message, message. whatever they posted it. That's different. If the dude is showing his print, dick print, and you put the fucking googly eyes, bitch, you're single. Okay. What are you talking about? Okay, because I needed to understand this. Me and my cousin had this debate. Her boyfriend, Her boyfriend was on my was story, on story, and I noticed and I that it was a new name. So I went to the story. I went to the story to see if it was a picture there to see who the person is. Because I don't, I'm not taking the time out to go into the man's page. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna see if the story mm-hmm. tells me what it is. The quote was fire, so I heard I was like, "Oh, that's fire." That's not wrong with that. My cousin called me. The next day, and was like, "Why are you hot eyeing his stuff?" I said, like, "I still didn't find out who the person was because there was no pictures. It was just a quote that I released." That's insecurity. That's that really is. That's definitely insecurity. You could heart eye or quote? That's yeah. Who gives a fuck? Now, wait, 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 wait. Tell you now, wait, wait, saucy. Hold on. If the quote read, "I would, I would love to devour you," and some other shit. And you heart eye that? That's a little different, though. No. How? It was a quote. Stop, it, 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 no, 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 no. The quote stated, I'm going to start treating people how people treat me. They don't they never don't like, like it. Like, I like that one. I heart eye that, that one. I heart another one. one. Like, like don't Oh, wait. You went on a heart streak yeah, with your two. cousin's man. It was and, two. It was okay. two. It was the quotes. It was just the quotes. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know. It wasn't no picture on a little circle thing or nothing like that. I'm like, yo, he's gonna get some real shit right here. Like, yep, like, yep. let them burn the bridges. Let the bridges be going down. I'm mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. he screamed that. He screamed out that and told her, like, yeah, your cousin needs to chill. I'm like, wait, hold up, you, you like this mom? Wait, so he snitched on you? Yes, he does. He sat there and like four, five of my pictures are on Damn. on the story. And I'm looking Damn. because that caught my attention. Like, who's this person? This nigga snitched. I, I, I'm like, who this person? <laughs> so I went into his store to return back the, the gesture. Like, okay, thank you. And what you were saying, I like it. So that sounds like a whole trap. Is it safe to say that you guys are not spending Christmas together? Nope, we should really are. We don't play that. She already know. I've been, me and my cousin have been together forever. <laughs> I would never. Me and Hannah would the same type. Mom's gotta be like a, like a, a patch, or, or you know, trash looking nigga. But see, I think niggas that do that is trying to cause something because I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I've been in a situation where 
if I like something, a post of something of somebody, and it's a mutual friend of somebody or whatever, and their significant others would get upset, and I'm like, why are you getting upset? Is this a quote? Is just this? I'm not liking the person could be with their kids. I could put a heart like you know, like you know the the, the replies, but you see yeah. like when you like that, like in the stories, you might see me he replied, like, and you see a heart, you might see a like, you might see a fire, you might see this. And some people will really get upset. Oh, why are you hard? It's, it's a, it's, he's with his kids. And he's talking about, yo, the joys of being a father. I'm not, I think that shit is very, very nice. I don't yeah, want him. You over there and it's the fact that people think that. It's, the joy of him being a stepmama. Maybe no, it wasn't even that. No, it wasn't even that. I just said, I, I said, I think he took the kids out, whatever, like that. But. It wasn't even, it wasn't even nothing like that. that. But, but people really get really serious, serious over, over likes. Over, over these, these little, little likes. Because my thing is, if I like something, I'm a hard I'm not the person that goes into somebody's page to see who they are. All you can do on here is heart stuff anyway. Think about it. When you tap on somebody's thing, you heart in it. Right. Right. So listen, man, let, let's pivot over to, do you think teens should have a cell phone? Yes. Yeah. In today's world? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like screen time needs to be limited? Um, should it be controlled? Yeah. From or should you just have free okay. reigns of a cell phone? So from 13 to 16, it needs to be parents control. From 16 all the way up, I mean, I mean they're going to look, look at it anyway, anyway. somewhere, from somehow. Where, somehow. If it ain't on their phone, their it's phone. gonna be on their friend's phone. It's, it's gonna it's be able gonna to be, be seen in so many so dimensions. Many dimensions. It's, not it's not even funny. Doesn't matter. I have a question. Oh, before before I answer my before I answer, ask my question, I'll answer it. No. No. He's old fashioned. Old fashioned. Now, now, I believe, I believe that, that children should have, have a basic phone. phone. A feature phone, feature phone. not a smartphone. You know, I thought you were going to say a beeper. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were going to say a beeper, beeper. beeper thousand years. Yeah, <laughs> so when they get beeped, how they call it? A page. I believe that they should have a feature phone to make phone call. God forbid there's an emergency or things of that nature. But I believe that with all the social media and everything that's going on and the messaging and everything, I think that we need to scale back on that. <laughs> that's not going to work. They can have to have friends. We're not there with them for the eight hours in their school and their friend might have a smartphone. They make up a town. I'm telling you. But you're in school. You don't need a phone. They use phone. They use they find time doing lunch time to the bathroom to have a whole different society. So y'all don't see, so y'all don't see the problem with this that the fact that these kids are so fucking addicted to these phones that you know for a fact that when they go to school they they sneak into the bathroom to go use the phone no, and shit. So y'all see nothing. That's why I say shit? I now I agree with thousand years saying a basic phone, basically a nice little burner phone or whatever it's called now. Those are cool for school. Like, cause all you need is, is for me to call you, you call me. And I said, that's why I said I thought Thousand was going to say, nah, you don't need a phone. Here's a beeper, here's a pager, and call the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need none of that. Because at the end of the day, you're supposed to be focused on your education, and that's it. But I get it. My son got an iPhone. I get it. The reason why he got an iPhone is because I could track him every given moment. My son, I don't like it sometimes. Like after school, he just don't know how to. I don't know what is wrong with kids that don't know how to come straight home. Ooh, ooh. So, so he was doing that too. So please, I know that's why. That's why. Shout out to Troy. They can turn that shit off. Huh? They can turn it. They can turn that shit off. No, they can't. Not with my my building um a system. I use you that gonna one. You die? Yeah, and then you gonna die? Yeah. <laughs> I'm using bats, baby. He, he's he's a big. It's a big boy. I'm, I'm using a bag. Break them knees down. Sorry. Sorry. That's a beast. That's a beast. <laughs> that's, that's I'm a beast. female. I don't got the weight of a man. So, should your significant other have a curfew? No. Oh, no. Mm. I don't consider, <laughs> I don't consider 5 a.m. a, a curfew. No. 
No, no adult should have a curfew. You're not a parent, point blank, period. But it's an understanding and a respect, mutual respect, that you don't let the son beat you home. But no, I'm not baby. I'm not sitting up there making this man my child. He's my man. He can come in when he the right time he needs to come. If you don't, you gonna play the game. Bam, doesn't he? Thoughts? Um, I believe that is in in the respectful, committed relationship. There is indirectly a curfew. That is, and the reason why I believe it's indirectly a curfew, like especially if you if y'all live together, directly there is a curfew. You know what I'm saying? Like, but and then it's it's like an unspoken, unspoken word unspoken, unspoken like that because if you know you tell me you're going out or you tell me like i'm going out you know i don't want you to you know you're gonna you're gonna come home at a, a decent time you're not gonna be super crazy drunk you're not gonna bug out or whatever like that or like you know saying and then you're not gonna stay out overnight either now it's different if you know you got really intoxicated. I'm familiar with the people. I'm like I said, I'm not your, I'm not your mother. I'm not your warrant. I'm not whatever, and vice versa. But there's a mutual, should be a mutual respect naturally that you do not want to disrespect your partner or like that. Like I said, these are only for people that's in a committed, serious, you know, respectable relationship. But there is an unspoken curfew. Unspoken. Sam is correct. There's an unspoken curfew. Um, if you have respect for that individual that you're with, you would automatically cur curtail it yourself. So. That's what that's what I said. So, I just said that it's home before the one Because that's the respectful thing to do. So you, if you I mean, even with people, people in some people's house, 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 five o'clock in the morning is too much. Ain't that so much people, drinking in the world. Wait, 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 wait. If he pulls up five minutes before the sun comes up, you good with that? <laughs> yes, yes. That's a she a fucking lie. She's a whole, whole lie. Yes. That last, that last before that shit, that's a lie. Cause I, I mean, lie. Like, shouldn't, I'm, I'm shouldn't it depend on what they're doing? Like for example, right? If you guys are having these conversations of they're going now with their fellas, they're right. about to do X, Y, and Z, whatever. So, I mean, pre-COVID, because now everything closes or whatever. Like, if you went out to the strip club with your fellas or whatever, you wasn't getting back to like six o'clock in the morning. Right, but you see that these hey. no, but you hear what I said. Yeah, but you hear what I said. That, that again, depending is unspoken. Whatever y'all have, y'all dynamics is different. But technically, to answer the question. There is a unspoken curfew. Absolutely. Now, like, that, that should, that you should single, always... like think about it. When you single, when you single and you live by yourself, you can go out and do whatever the hell you want to do. But when you're in a relationship with someone, you gotta think about like you and then that person you want out of courtesy and respect, you're gonna let that person know your home. You gonna let that person know especially if y'all don't live together. You know what I'm saying? When I was in my relationship, I went out with my friends, but I still let him know and I checked in. And vice versa. You have you have the relationship for for various reasons. So for example, if you live if you live with somebody, you guys have kids, right? It's disrespectful for you to pull in while everybody's sitting down having breakfast. Because now the kids are looking at that at that as like that should be the norm in a relationship. That's disrespectful. Now, if you if you have these conversations, right, and you tell your partner, like, all right, so I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z, you do the check-ins, then there should be nothing wrong with that. Everybody should be an adult and everybody should be respectful. You shouldn't be walking in drunk while the kids are having breakfast and then like that's not a good look. It's not about you being controlled or whatever but it's more of having respect for your household at the end of the day mm -hmm. um so there's a woman who accused takeoff of sexual assault and was judged to make his mother the defendant in her lawsuit what? topic is should she be able to sue the estate 
Well, she could sue the state, but asking his mother to. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, Saucy. Hold on. No, what I said was, should she be able to? Not if she can. I said, should she be what able the, to? What happened? Repeat I what said, happened? Yes. So, I'm going to read. But taking his mother to take the sting in his sound. So, I'm the confused. mother. Okay, so let me let me give you some insight. Women who accuse takeoff of sexual assault wants judge to make his mother the defendant in her lawsuit. Reason being, the mother runs the estate. They're not saying for the mother to take the stand, for the mother to be the defendant because he's clearly gone. Okay. okay. See, that's why I was confused. I was like, take off.